What up guys, Fojo here, and today I'm coming to you with the new NC Soft game, Throne in Liberty, the new MMO coming out next year. Throne in Liberty is a game that has been in the making for quite some time, but has changed names several times along the years, but is now finally making its way towards us, and we'll be getting it in early 2023. But real quick, if you guys could hit the like button and subscribe to the channel, I would truly appreciate that. And if you could leave a comment about are you excited about this game coming out? What do you expect from Throne and Liberty? And do you think it will release on schedule now that is set to 2023? Also hit the bell. It'll let you know exactly when new content's coming out from this channel. As well as go check out our second channel. It is for Escape from Tarkov and FPS games. And if you could go over there and hit subscribe as well, I truly appreciate that. It's called Fojo FPS. Now you're supposed to be getting it in late 2022, but that has since fallen out in the recent days. So we will be getting it in early 2023. Now this is coming from the same game studio that you got Guild Wars 2 from, so you can expect a fairly decent game almost no matter what happens. But this game should be fairly similar to most MMOs you've seen, but with a few twists and turns added to it to give it a little different feel. As all MMOs, it's supposed to have an open world, and with that comes vast territories and places to travel to. But in this game, it seems as though there's not much of a teleport system from what I've seen and it's more of a you can transform into different animals and different forms in order to get you across the landscape easier as well as a grapple system to get you across rough terrain so you can turn into a bird cross a ravine or you can turn into turn into a lion or a wolf and go much faster than your character would be able to now not having a teleport system doesn't mean that there won't be one eventually or that there won't be one for specific instances or battles depending on what comes with the game but it looks as if there will be large scale conflicts pvp or pve related and you may have to teleport into those or instance into those differently but supposedly this game will be much more pve instead of pvp i'm sure there will be some no matter what but the pve content is supposed to be more extensive so with this one in difference to say new world you're going to be having monsters that drop different varieties of loot depending on time of day, the environment around it, and the players being there as well. So it seems as though the variety of loot will change a lot depending on all the scenarios and differences in the environment that it's in and the players that are surrounding it. Which means a wide variety of loot even from one single monster, which is something I think is great for an MMO and a great way to keep things fresh for players is to give us such a wide variety of loot and changes with one monster alone. But along with that, that means that it will be a lot tougher to find certain items unless you hit them at the same time every day or the same time when a certain thing is happening to them depending on what you're looking for. Now so far there is no gameplay out. Only company playtesters have been using it right now and they said they have around 3,000 that are working it and working on finding bugs and whatnot within the game. Now it is rumored that Amazon Game Studios will be the company utilized to help release Throne and Liberty and might be the company that is utilized for that. But there is no guarantee yet. This is just a rumor that Amazon Game Studios may be the player that's doing that. Them adding an MMO to their list is not a surprise since they both have New World and Lost Ark on their table. And so it would not be a new thing for them to take on at this point. But along with all MMOs, we're going to be thinking about is there a pay-to-win process here? And there may be. We're not sure yet. Um, a lot of MMOs these days seem to be going that way to where they are trying to have larger shops and have ways for players to get ahead. But there's no guarantees on that either. Anymore, it's almost expected, I would think, to have that in a game. Will some players use it? Yes. Will all players use it? No. Will it put a few people ahead? Probably. And it's kind of just something we need to get used to at this point, I believe, unfortunately. But you never know, we could see a game release without it being a part of it and be a great way to see the game come out. Now Throne and Liberty has very minimal content that we can see right now. It's mostly just the trailer and a few bits and pieces here and there. But what I've seen so far from the combat is that it's fairly interesting and it's kind of a lock-on feature that you'll have to be using for a lot of combat for bows and magic depending on what it is. So the combat system won't be overcomplicated to use. It'll be easy to target mobs that way. 
Now, will this be a follow-up to New World and be a New World 2 and follow the exact timeline that New World followed? Probably not. Uh, I think Amazon Game Studios has learned a lot from their past two games they've released and know a lot better about how many people to expect and how to set up servers, etc. Be able to accept any and all players that will be there on the opening day and be ready for them. Now, Throne of Liberty does have some time between now and when it releases, so we'll have to wait and see how it comes out and what's going on with it, and you never know, it could get pushed back again. But for now, we are expecting it in early 2023, and I'm excited to see where that goes. If you're excited to see Throne of Liberty come out, drop a comment below about what you know about it, what you think is going to happen, and what you would like to see with it. If you could hit the like button and subscribe, I truly appreciate that as well. And we'll have more videos out soon. I hope to see you there.